All right, so <laughs> Rendell builds this thing or has this thing built. They're making an attempt at least. Yeah. But it's not functional. It's not functional. All right, and these guys have this little bit of money saved. They want to build quarter pipe up the pillar. There's a pillar there. Okay. Out and of wood. Yeah. Okay. Out of wood. We're like, and then other dudes. So once, once that word hits the street, because once again, I skated with a lot of friends. So, you know, I'm talking like, hey, these dudes want to do this. That dude tells another, like, you know, the buzz starts happening. Right. So now other people are stopping up like, oh, I'll throw up the money for a mini ramp. Let's build a mini ramp underneath there. Okay. Like that. And then the debate came in like, oh, no, we can't do a mini ramp. The bums will fucking burn it down, blah, right. blah, blah. We got to do everything out of concrete. You know, look at what these guys are doing out in Portland. Right. Let's fall suit with that. You know, that's, that's how you do. It's concrete now. And I've always been a carpenter. Right. I'm like, like all right. Right. You know, I guess. Let's do it. Sign me up. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll cut the wood. I'll cut the wood. You guys figure out what to do about the concrete. How many people all in all? I'm saying we hit we hit FDR with a 20 pack easy. 20 dudes. So 20 guys roll in there. So 20 guys. You get but 20 you're, guys. A, you're a key player here. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, I know you don't necessarily want to take all the credit. But I don't, I'm, but I knew, I'd, I knew I had, because of the Kong Ramp experience, because I right. had the experience with working with all my homies in high yeah. school and, yeah. and pulling that off, I realized, like, hey, we can't, we can't do this alone. Right. Skating's fun with people. Everybody wants to do something. We got to get them all on this. We got to get them all on the same page. Okay. So I, was, I think that's my kick. is trying to get everybody to work together. The New York guys build the quarter pipe up the pillar. Okay. Out of wood or, con or concrete? It was concrete. We were, we we're going for concrete. Okay. So okay, I cut so the trannies for it. Okay. And then the whole other crew of dudes okay. were running around. We, I mean, it was just going nuts. So we, whole other crew of dudes met at Reading Skate Park. Because uh -huh. some dude had a bunch of cinder blocks he was going to donate to us. So we all met at Reading, like five five trucks, a bunch of cars. Was Reading still around then? Reading was still around then. So we all skated Reading. Spinning wheels? Skating. Yeah, spinning wheels. We all skated that spot. And then went and picked up all these cinder blocks. Drove them. You know, some dudes would put 10 in their car. Other dudes could put 20 in their truck. This whole caravan of cinder blocks went down there. Okay. And we're doing everything at night because we're... At the time, we didn't. We weren't asking anybody. Still we were doing outlaw. It, we were doing Definitely it ninja. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, we thought we were little ninjas. We we're gonna sneak in there. We're gonna, nobody will ever know. But it just got so. All of a sudden, what we what we re knew we needed to build was so big. There's no more sneaking about it. It's like people are right. gonna notice what we're doing. Sure. Because we need that shit needs to be big. So what did you use the bricks for? So the bricks we had to. We wanted to build. That a bowl bowl. pocket. That, yeah. We call Looking it, at the flat wall off to the left, you called it something else? They call it the CIA pocket. Okay, yep. yep but yep, it's yep. the shape of a question mark. Yeah. You get back to the hip, because we love the hip. So it was, yeah. a, it was a quarter pipe that hipped into a pocket. We didn't know shit about concrete at that point. So Did you the, hand mix it? So for the first year, we hand mixed it with the bags from Home Depot. And okay. we made it so watery, we didn't know. We were fine. We're throwing soup on the wall. We had no idea. So when we get all the center blocks there, we stack up all these center blocks, and uh -huh. it only comes like four foot. Okay. And we're like, whoa, this isn't right. It's not enough. That's what I was thinking. You went the whole way already and get center blocks. So we're That's looking the around. Thing. The city had lined this whole parking lot that they poured with giant concrete trash can holders, like what they would have sitting on Broad Street. Once they're done with that decor, they just put them around the skate park. You know, we get new trash can holders. And these things are big and thick. concrete. Trash can holders. Trash can holders. They used to line Broad Street. So then now they line, they put them all around our park. Keep cars from driving in. Okay. So we're like, fuck it. We just, three dudes on one, poof, roll them over, roll them into place, stand them back up. So we stood a bunch. You can see them to the day. I think we poached like 30 of them. Okay. The whole bottom course are these big, they're like, you know, three foot circumference. Yeah. Uh, or three foot diameter trash cans. And that got us an immediate seven four foot jump. Yeah, and then yeah. Then we yeah. put the center blocks on top of them. Finally, we're we're at the height that we need to okay to keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, so you the, just went in there and just filled it in with concrete. Yeah. So then we just everything we could find, we put in front of the the wall, like to build up the tranny, and then we mix up the mud. So we we're so fresh at mud that we only could get mud to go. Right. To go up to the center blocks. We couldn't get it to stick on the vert yet. It kept okay. falling down on us. We're like, right. ah, what are we doing? We skated like that for a minute. We didn't care. That was our new bank the wall. Right. You know what I mean? A giant right. kink there. Okay. 
But then as time went on, another gentleman stepped in who plastered the whole thing for us, who knew about plaster work at that point. Okay. And had the skill and the touch. Okay. He came in and put an inch of plaster over everything that we had already done, which is what it is today. We're still right. riding the original 20-year-old plaster. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, it lasted a minute. And it's only a thick. Huh. And that's what we've been skating forever. Since 15 years. No, 20 years. 20 years. Jeez. So when you go, when you do the hip at the CIA pocket, you can feel how there's like a, how it's almost the Jersey barrier style. It's almost a yeah. tranny to kink. Right. It's a hip on the one side. Yeah. That's because of the original pour, we couldn't get the concrete to stay on the center block. So there's always that, that little bit of a kink there. Oh, when was the first time you had concrete blown? The bunker. The bunker. So we built the CIA pocket. The big flat wall. And then right next to the CIA pocket, we started the bunker. We're like, okay. fuck it, we're just going to start. Because after we got away with it, we're like, we're just going to keep go. going until somebody tells us to stop. Right. I'll never forget this kid pulls up in a flatbed truck with two pallets of uh, center block. I'm here to help. He's like, yo, I'm from Lancaster. I heard what you guys are doing. My name's Trout. I got this. Oh, I'm donating Trout. this. Okay. First time I met Trout, he pulls up in a flatbed. There was no, there was no cell phones back then. Right. You don't just, you know, like. No instant message. There was no way to call. Like, he just left Lancaster with a load of shit, hoping that he would find our spot and we'd be there. And he did. It all sick. worked out. Right? How sick is that? Sick. The dome. The dome came to be kind of, kind of out of will. When we when we do the center blocks, we would core fill them. We'd stack the center blocks, and we'd okay. stick a piece of rebar in them, and we core fill them. So by the time we got down there, everybody was like, "Look how the rebar sticks out and just kind of bends over." Yeah. And create and seeing those pictures. Wild something. Bill and TZ are like, "Let's just make the overburden." Fill it in. Yeah. And the center blocks would stop, and the rebar would stick out six or so feet. And, uh, and because it was already a pocket, you just have all this rebar, and the weight of the rebar is just leaning in. Right. It was asking for it. It was asking for it. So when it came to spray it on spray day, one of, one of Dave Rule's dudes just walked up there with a piece of masonite. Okay. And he, he laid the masonite behind all the rebar. Yeah. There's no form, no wood. Yeah. They did all this no form. No form. These guys are good. These guys, they, they did it all day long. First time I ever saw a little squeegee level. This guy had a level, yeah. four foot level, with a rubber squeegee on it. He was the dude that would come in and, and do all the vert. He cut all the vert with the squeegee. Nowadays, they're cutting vert with the Fresnos. Right. This dude, and, and it's different creep. Back then, it was that's just gunite, which is just sand yeah. in Portland. So they spray this shit on. So he's able to take the squeegee level and just cut us the perfect vert that we have today. So yeah, without it took these him an guys. hour. I think he did the whole vert what? in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> these dudes were pro. They just blew through it. They were unbelievable. That's amazing. But when it came to the oververt, this guy just took a piece of masonite and just laid on all the rebar. Yeah. Hit his head behind the masonite. Huh? And the sprayer guy just, shoot it. just shot it. And somehow it didn't blow the masonite. It didn't blow him back off the thing. Because it's really high. It is. It's way out. It's just so those guys are kind of punk rock. Those dudes were badass. Yeah. They pulled off. They made our dream happen. Wow. And we're just laughing it right is, there with them. It is, it is interesting. Like, you know, you get to be this age and you do all these things. You know, even with the, the public menace and, and the YMCA and <clears throat> things I've been involved in and obviously things you've been involved in, how many people helped you get there? God, and that's the best part of it. It is. It is. And then, So many people step up. Have you ever spoken to these guys ever again? Which ones? Uh, the guys that blew the concrete. No, because they weren't skateboarders. Right. But I probably did because we hired them again. Good. To do the amoeba. Oh, okay. And, uh, and the back bowls. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. All right. So you built this wall. You built the over, oververt. And then what happened next? Then it started getting big time. Right. Then, so we got the, we got the, then we, so we did the whole front. So we're walled in. We did the whole bunker. Yeah. We did the CIA. We did the bunker. We got the titties going. Got the pyramids going. Now we know we need something in the back. Yeah. Field. We need a bowl. We need a bowl. But here's where, here's where everything kind of, kind of went crazy. Yeah. I hear some Now there's all this. these people involved. Everybody's involved now. It's not just the original 20 now. Everybody's got an opinion. Everybody's, everybody's got an opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't do well with this. Let's call it like it is here. 
What do you mean? I do well with other people's opinion, but if it's... No, no, no. I mean, I do well with other people's opinion as long as it agrees with me. No, I don't mean it like that. I meant that you like to get things done. I mean, that is, you know, this is a little bit of an insight and an even respect for you. Okay. Is, is, Hit me. Yeah. All right. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying that uh, there was some tension there, shall we say, right? There was, but not with me. Once again, I try to play the great mediator. Right. Okay. Okay. I well, set it straight for the record then. All right. So what happened was... You got a bunch of cock diesel skaters. What is it? Cock diesel skater. You got a bunch of fucking hardcore skaters. You know, you got a bunch. Oh yeah, cock diesel. Okay, got it. I got a bunch of cock diesel skaters. Down there. <laughs> I love that term. It's fucking. Right it's fucking Rocky. It's ba- right on. It's Rocky Balboa land down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They skate like it too. Yeah. So. So, uh, when it came to design, everybody was gracious enough to let me do the design. Okay, so you did most of the design of all of FDR. You, pretty much. Pretty much. A couple That's things I, I missed. I didn't do the bathtub. Okay. I didn't design the bathtub. Okay. I didn't design the two pyramids. Okay. And I didn't design the roller. Okay. Other than that, <coughs> it's all mine. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't do the dirty Larry or the tattooed mom hips or the bathtub. The okay. bathtub, the tattoo, all that was done while I was in prison. You did, you did I like. I did all that. <laughs> you did like 80% of it, of it though. 90. Okay. So even okay. though I got lucky and I was able to, to design what okay. was gonna, what was going to be built, okay. and if you look from above, it's the combi pole. Okay. We, we wanted the combi. Well, who didn't? We wanted the combi. Who so did? If, if you look from above, square bowl, and of course because we had our pillars, we were mixing up a little bit. But we right. wanted the combi, oh, it and then makes we wanted sense. to turn the combi into a spine because we love spines. I mean, sure. But what happened was, is we're now now we're into an area where. It takes money to build things this size. Oh my God! Yeah. Like we scrapped together the original stuff. Okay. It wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. But now we're into year three, and everybody starts thinking like, "What? Well, you know, we got to get outside funds. You know, we're talking. They want to play a different game. They want to play a different game because. But then you start inviting at, at other, that point, other opinions and or or controlling. We didn't factors, invite them. They came or, in. You know, right, they would just show right, up. Right. Right. That's what I mean. We okay. didn't care about money because we were a little street hustlers. Right. Let we me, had let all me. the money in the world. We okay. could buy whatever. We bought the bunker. Cash. Right. Here you go, Dave. Here's the cash. Don't it didn't come from the government. It didn't come from the city. No, it came I know. from us. Well, that's kind of what I mean by you don't play well with others. I didn't. I mean it quite like that. But I mean that that the one we didn't have to play by the rules because right. we didn't need the money. There you go. That's part of it. And the other part is that I, I you know, you're you're a diehard skateboarder, and it's about skateboarding. It's always been about skateboarding with you, um, <clears throat> even when you did the FDR contest, you know. And thank you for. Actually, bringing me down to judge as well. You I know love I mean? having you. Dude, there. Was, love having you it there. It was huge. It was huge for me. It really was. And it was good to see Tom Boyle and talk to him too. You know, he obviously he passed. It's very sad. Bill Rogers, mm-hmm. thinking he's doing the right thing, he goes and lines up a bunch of city money to help us. One dude in particular. Okay. And unfortunately, this dude was as gung ho as I was about building. Right. Um, but this one dude, now the money was involved, he, this dude thought he could get paid. He okay. thought he was going to, you know, he thought this was going to be his day job. Right. He's trying to evolve. He's trying to work this into where this is his new day job. And we're all sitting back like, yeah, dude. Right. This is our fucking playland. If anybody's getting paid here, right. it's us. Sure. And you're just the dude that knows how to do the concrete. You don't even do a front side fucking area. You right. know what I mean? Like, that's our attitude because right. oh, it's Rocky yeah. Balboa land. No, I get it. You know, it's like, I'm look, in. dude, we don't give a fuck. No. You know, even if you are doing the highest front side air, right. who knows? Your opinion might just suck. But anyways, <laughs> it came down to that type of shit. Like, dude, you don't even skate. What are you, what are you doing? Park kind of separated. So they some, got money? Oh, yeah. The, okay. the park kind of separated into some camps. Uh-huh. And at that point, I was back in Harrisburg dealing with some things. Right. So I was just doing the design work, and I go down and skate on weekends. Right. And uh, and I get all the I get all the intel like, oh, these dudes are kooks. They won't let yeah. us help. They're fucking paying themselves. I'm like, what, really? You know, like, huh? And then, and, but then it got into where they started changing the design. Right. The design was supposed to be tight tranny, a lot of vert. Right. These dudes were older. Right. They wanted reading style. They wanted giant trannies, flow bowl. Yeah, I don't know about that one. They did. But okay. No, it's been, I don't, yeah, I wouldn't even. Right. Even I wouldn't agree to that one. Right. Okay. But because they lined up the money, they thought 
fuck, you know, yeah, fuck what everybody, yeah. fuck pocket your opinion. Yeah. We lined up the money. All right. And and they tried to, use, we're doing the work, but lo and behold, all they did was just be dicks to everybody that tried to help. Right. And everybody's like, fuck these kooks. We're not working with them anyways. We'll sit back. We'll just go skate. Right. Watch these dudes fucking dig in the dirt. You right. know what I mean? Right, right. Because now we have what's called the revolution pocket. So, <laughs> so these dudes, we always have the big 4th of July oh, yeah. party going on. Mm-hmm. Fundraiser party. So these dudes are trying to get it done for the 4th of July. Okay. So they, they spray. Thank God they only sprayed half of it. They got half of it done. Okay. Maybe a little more than half. Okay. 4th of July comes. I come from Harrisburg. People come from everywhere. Well, fucking... It's a pile. It's a flow bowl. Like, like the lazy pie. We call the middle bowl. We call it the I lazy pocket. It's like 13 foot trannies, seven yeah. foot tall shit. Yeah. Everybody's like, what is this? Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know. It kind of doesn't fit. It, well, I don't know. I'm going to give credit where credit's due. That park's amazing. There's no doubt about it. Um, and now that it's more open, it's easier to ride. But it kind of doesn't, it didn't fit in initially. Because when I went there with you the one time, it was like, why is this even here? It was, you know what I mean? Like you couldn't get any speed going into it. There was things going on. It just didn't, right. it was a dead space, more or less. Right. Okay. Right, like they changed the schematics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, kept the, they kept the coping line. Okay. But they changed the inside schematics. Right, right, right. Which fucking threw it all off. So, so we're down there skating, and everybody's coming up to me like, Carlos, man. Of course they are. Like, dude, what? You got to do something. You got to do something. Like, you got to do we're something. Looking at, we're looking at this part that they haven't sprayed yet. Yeah. And it it's can't happen. the worst polish shit ever, and it can't happen. So I'm like, all right. I look crazy Tad. Crazy Tad's with me. I'm like, Tad, we have to do this. I think Tad rode down with me. We were the Harrisburg dudes. We yeah, have, Tad. We got to do this, Tad. So Tad and I go in, Blunt, and we just start. Uh, Ollie Blunts, early early on. Early, yeah. Tad Mad man. Ripped. Killed it. Yep. He was the front. He was the frontside rock king. Yeah. And he did. Yeah. The, and he did the front no stall fucking. Yeah. Three sixty all kinda that whack shit. Kind of ridiculous, man. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Super ridiculous. Yeah. Aggressive. <laughs> yeah. I was like, aggressive. wow, what's this guy even doing? Super aggressive ridiculousness. Yes. Tad. That's it. So that motherfucker and I, we just jump on. And everything's twist tied. All the rebars twist tied together. And we're fucking yanking on this shit. And now they're now the crowd. down the wall. Yeah, we're starting to rip it apart. Just Tad and I. Next thing you know, psh, there's dudes at our sides. More dudes are on it. Pliers are coming out of the crowd. There's a whole crowd forming in the shallow end. Uh oh. Pliers are coming out of the crowd. Like yeah, everybody's charged. The four dudes, TZ, Wild Bill, Pat Boder, and Brian Lathrop. The four dudes that were bummed. They were so bummed. Latrop's got the camera out filming, like, I'm sending this to the city. You guys are so dead. Pat Boder's ready to fight. Like, 20 dudes were on him. Like, what are you going to do, dude? You ain't doing nothing. Beat it. You're done. We gave you your chance. Fired. Fucking fired. Beat it. It was so good. Poor TZ. TZ's such a nice guy. He's such a diehard skater. He is a nice guy. Yeah. He's caught in the middle of of it all. Okay. Okay. So, you know, and and, then... So I, I lost friendship with TZ for a couple of years after that as okay. well. Yeah, and Bill Rogers, because they yeah. just don't understand okay. that we we just weren't having it, dude. Right. I don't care if you guys paid for it, built it, or whatever. Fuck it. It's going down at our spot. Our spot's supposed to represent gnarliness right. and the greatness of skateboarding. Not some fucking bullshit yeah. 70s stuff. No offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but... That stuff's fun when it's fun. We'll go lands down if we want. Right, but we're, you know, we're trying to build the fucking shit. So the revolution was epic. It was mob right. mob mentality. We just took over. So you just you just tore down and stuff. We just ripped built, it all out, and, and then you re you just did it from the ground up all over again. Well, at the time, yeah. Hand poured. Well, no, like I said, they kept the coping line. Okay. We liked the coping line. Well, it was right. just the trainees that fed up to it. Right. You know, it, it, the stuff that we ripped off. It was like thirteen foot trainees to kink vert. Ugh. It was so bad. Total kink sink. It was so bad. It was like, you know, yet the square bowl was kind of, a, they almost pulled it on the square bowl, but they went a little too big yeah, on the trainees. Yeah, yeah. The lazy pocket, they yeah. totally blew it, yep. totally big. No, but agree. then when they got to the one that they didn't spray, it was even worse. It was the kink divert. Uh, worse. All right, so uh, then what? You guys just said, we're taking this back over and doing this, the revolution. Yeah, so, but revolution actually at that time, I was on house arrest. So I actually had to sneak down for the 4th of July party. I had my ankle bracelet on. 
Of course all, you did. All that shit, yeah. I think we made it. Total maverick. So fuck it. So we have this revolution, and then I got, a, and then I had to hand it off because I had to go back to being on house arrest. Okay. But everybody was cool with it. Like we know what. You, so I handed off to a couple dudes. Like hi, hi, sir. Steve Foss. Okay. Was one of the main dudes that I handed off to. Okay. Is he a Philly guy? He's he's from uh, Bruce Springsteen's town. Okay, in Jersey or something, right? Asbury Park. He's a okay. he's a Jersey kid. Okay. Moved to Philly. Okay. Lived in Philly, skating okay. in Philly. Super ripper, fucking one of my best friends. Hand it off to him. Like Steve, I can't, I can't be the one to shape this. Yeah, you gotta take the reins. It's on you guys, and those dudes totally handled it. Good. I'm so proud of them. I fucking love them. They did it.